Yellow, how's it going everyone? Lord Juicy 6 here, back with a video, and today we're actually starting off the video at the park, as you can see. So we're just a minute away from the Rosetta community to start, and today's video is actually not much of a challenge, more or less a self-goal of mine. So I have this Pokemon right here that I really want to max out. So as you can see, it is a shiny 100% Roserade and I actually managed to catch as a Rosalia back at Montreal Safari Zone So I think I have a clip of that. I'll take a little break to have some food But now we're back on the move and in that time we found two shinies found a Trico and my very first Shundo 100% Rosalia that was insane. I was so shocked. I jumped up and I was just so out of my mind, but let's begin because we've got our research here that we get for free because we're doing the Kanto tour. And Professor's talking about something. He's, uh, he's just standing there looking at me. So I'm gonna finish this off today. I'm gonna work on some quests here. Got another one for the Sinnoh Stones. So people who don't have Sinnoh Stones in their box, they can actually evolve them. And the goal, like I said, just to get that Rose Raid maxed out. So I need 296 candies. So I need 251 more to get this maxed out. So I'll come back with you guys when something interesting happens, maybe when I get my first shiny, and then we'll go from there, all right? So we're back at our famous very big clutch that we're gonna check, but I did a couple things while, you, while I was away from you guys. So I put an incense on, I did mega evolve a Venusaur because if you mega evolve a grass type or a poison type, the Rosalies will actually give you more candy because you're mega evolving a Pokemon of the same typing. So don't forget to do that. Also, I almost forgot that the eggs are going to be half uh, one fourth of the distance. So look at that, a 5K, 0.8K, that is sweet. So we're gonna do that as well. Let's get these all in there quickly so that I can do a nice little check with y'all because I love doing shiny checks. So let's start with the cluster. Let's say how much I love Rosalie because again, I have that Shundo that you guys saw. Let's see if we can get that shiny. So not shiny on that. Not shiny on that one. Let's see what else we got. Come on, shiny! No. Oh, oh man. Come on, we gotta get one in this clutch. That'd be so epic. Another one, not shiny. Let's see. Next one. Not shiny as well. So not too good of luck yet. Another one. No luck. Couple more here. Let's do that one, the incense. Oh no. Alright. And then I think I have one more in the corner here. No, not shiny. So not lucky on the cluster spawn here. I was really hoping I would be. But we also have this quest here that we're going to finish off. So a couple of those. And I have a research breakthrough box, which I'm going to save for later. I guess I got to do it now. So I guess I'll show you guys the CP. If it's a hundo, we'll stay and we'll catch it. If not, then let's just keep on going. All right. We finally managed to get our first shiny Rosalia and it's 1500 CP. These things are going to be massive because of the weather boost. And let me just say, even though Rosalia isn't the most useful Pokemon, it is the fastest damage per second Pokemon for grass types, it's still a very amazing looking shiny. And I know we've had it in previous events, very boosted in spawns. So I know this isn't something that a lot of people want, but it's still pretty good and I like them, you know? I'll still keep catching the Rosalias and I'll enjoy it. So let's do a couple more shiny checks with you guys because you never know. I might get some, I might get another one in this little cluster here. And if not, then we're going to just cut to when I'm probably halfway through my grind here of getting the extra large candies and we'll see how we're doing in terms of time because I'm hoping in the two hours that I'm spending here at the park today that I can manage to get up to 200 of those candies. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is why you don't check your box while eggs are hatching because I know it's going to come out of this egg. It's going to be... Oh, not the Froakie. Okay, I didn't know it was the Froakie. That was my bad. There's something in here that y'all are going to be like, what the heck did you just hatch? I think it might be this egg. Please be this egg or else it's the next one. It is going to be a shiny Pineco. What the heck? How did I get that out of my eggs? And it's not bad as well. But man, on a community day, hatching an off-brand shiny, I have never had that happen. So I wanted to share it with you guys because that's amazing. We're gonna hash rest these eggs with you guys while I'm here because why the hell not? Okay, Tauros, nothing too crazy on that. Tauros is nothing too crazy. Come on, let's get that out of there. And let's see, my last egg. And speaking of eggs, Badu is hatching 
with a shiny boosted rate for this event. So at the end, I'll show you guys how many Badoos I hatch and how many shinies I get from them. Because I feel like I'm doing five incubators that have three times on them. I'm going to use them all up today and see if I get a shiny Badoo because that'd be a nice bonus. So last egg, Hippopotas. Okay, nothing great. But that shiny Pineco. Sweet. All right, let's keep on collecting that. Uh, oh, one more egg. Okay, one more egg. Let's do this. One more egg. All right, let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Swablu. Okay. Let me keep on collecting those uh, candies for the Roselia and we'll come back when we get enough of them. Well, that was a very productive grind outside in terms of how much extra candies I got. We're back home now. So I'm done grinding at Chinkuzi Park for the day. And if I go and show you guys the amount of shinies I got in the first two and a half hours, we got a lot. So as you can see, we got about, I think I counted 20 of them in that stack there, so that's very good. I've been trying to hatch the Badoos, but no luck on the shiny Badoo yet. Um, in terms of the extra large candies, we do have 220, plus we have almost 5,000 Rosalia candies. So technically I could be almost at 270 extra large candies, which would mean I only need to catch another like 20 extra large candies worth and I'm done. Then I've reached my goal and I can max the shendo for you guys. But we're going to keep catching them just like this one here because the less amount of extra large candies I have to make with my regular candies, honestly, the better. I don't want to have to waste them. So we're going to keep on catching. We're going to keep on checking. Uh, I'm going to leave that one be for a little bit. So I can check, check. No, damn it. And um, I just want to show you something else I hatched today because I actually managed to hatch my first ever sand dial where is that bad boy sand dial where is it there it is i hatched my first ever sand dial not greatest ivs but i can definitely mirror trade this for a lucky trade one day and i was very happy on that so i have that one and i have the one for the research and i'm pretty happy so i'm gonna just quickly finish up the community for the next three hours or so keep catching off the incense and then i'll wrap up with you guys i'll evolve maybe one more sailor just to show you guys the moves and then uh, we'll max out that shendo. And that is going to end it for my community day here. And I just want to say, I had a lot of fun doing it. You know, grinding it out. It wasn't bad weather today, so thank the Lord it didn't snow. If it would have snowed, it would have been a lot harder to complete this. But I'm just going to click on this. I did end up getting enough Rosalia Extra Large candies. So we are going to max the shendo out. Alright, before we do that, I just want to show you guys some of the shinies we got. Because we got a lot today. And to be exact, we got 31 shiny Rosalias. The Makuhita was from yesterday. And that shiny pine hatch. I never checked the IVs on it, but it wasn't bad. So maybe I'll evolve one day. But that was just amazingly out of left field. I did not see that coming. And then I did hatch my Badoo. And I did get a shiny Badoo here. But the question is, how many eggs did I have to hatch to do that? So if I do Badoo and age zero... I ended up hatching 46 Badoos today, which, in fact, I did end up getting a hundo as well. So, I got everything I wanted today. I wanted to get the extra large candies. I wanted to get a shiny Badoo. And then I remember that I wanted to get every hundo baby eventually. So, I got a hundo Badoo as well that I can keep as a Badoo forever. So, all in all, worth the hatches. Worth it all. And before we max out the Shendo, because I know I'm prolonging this super, super long for you guys... I'm going to evolve my Great League and Ultra League Rosalias into Rose Raids because you never know, they might have some use in PvP, but to my knowledge, they don't have any good use in terms of their moves at the moment. But maybe in like a self arena match, you just never know. So there we go. There's my Great League Rosalia, and let's get the Ultra League Rosalia going. Here we go. Let's evolve the Ultra League one. Same looking as the last one, nothing too different, but just something I'll show you guys. So with, with PvP moves, if you guys are PvP stats, if you aren't familiar with it, you want to have low attack, high defense, high HP. That way then you can get it to a higher level because the attack stat is what weighs the levels and the CPs a lot. So there you go. That's a pretty good one for Ultra League. And I might use it one day, but at the moment not. And then the exclusive moves are Bullet Seed and Weather Ball. So, now that we got the housekeeper out of the way, let's get to it. Here is our Shundo Roserade. And I will say, I really enjoyed this one when I got it. It was just the most amazing thing that ever happened when I was at a Safari Zone. So, here we go. 250,000 dust 
and 296 actual large candies. Let's do it. There it is. 3,359 CP. That is the max CP for the Rose Raid. So now you guys know, and now I have that as a huge flex for my collection for the rest of my life here. So, sweet. All done, I guess. And with that, I just want to thank everybody for watching up to the very end. I do appreciate that you guys are watching the videos as usual. And I do have a challenge video coming out in about a week or so, hopefully. Granted, I can, I can finish it. And then I also have one planned for the Kanto event, which that one's going to be quite crazy. You don't want to miss it. So stay tuned to the channel and, you know, just keep up with me on social media, right? I have Instagram and I have Twitter and just follow those if you can. And I would more than appreciate it because that way then you can see what I'm doing. And sometimes I do post exclusives to my videos that I'll be posting up there from now on. So thank you so much for watching as usual. And as always, make sure to boom! Hit the like button, click the button down below, subscribe to the channel, hit right beside it, so you're notified when I put a new video. I've been Lord360, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody.